Grace to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Siguro ilan sa atin ay nakakita na o nakasaksi na ng taong nasasapian ng masamang spirito. Napakalakas. Hindi kayang hawakan o pigilin ng tatlo o limang tao kung minsan nanlilisik ang mata at uh, sumisigaw. Talagang nakakatakot sapagkat nag-iiba rin ang kanyang boses. Dito po sa ating Ibanghelyo, meron din pong nasasapian ng masamang espiritu. Dalawang espiritu, masamang espiritu na sumapi sa isang uh, tao na tinutukoy dito sa ating Ibanghelyo. Doon po sa pangyayari na sinilaysay ni San Marcos, parehong pangyayari, sinasabi po ni San Marcos na yung demonyo ay meron siyang kasamang legion, ibig sabihin hundred demons sa isang tao. Kaya sila ay napakalakas, pinipigtas at pinuputol ang tanikala at sila ay at siya ay mabangis na parang ulol na aso o leon at uh, ang taong ito ay sumisigaw sa gabi at doon nakatira sa sementeryo Ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng ating ebanghelyong binasa ngayong gabi Pinagaling ng ating Panginoon si Kristo, ang taong nasasapian ng masamang espiritu o demonyo. In other words, Jesus had power to expel demons because He is the Son of God. The demons themselves have confessed that Jesus is the Son of God. Secondly, demons in our time, in the time of Jesus and even in our time, are real. And they are free to trouble humanity until the end of time. But Jesus gives us the reassurance that we would be able to overcome evil with His grace, with His assistance. In fact, in the letter to the Hebrews, it tells us, we have a high priest, Jesus Christ, who can truly identify with us because He was tempted in every way, but He did not sin. When Jesus started His public ministry, He was also tempted by the devil. The devil was real because the devil wanted to divert Jesus from his mission. Jesus was tempted to turn stones into bread. Jesus was tempted to jump from the highest point of the temple, and his uh, angels would catch him and would not hurt himself. And the devil showed him the wealth of all the world, and the devil said, if you only would kneel before me, I would give you all these possessions, this wealth that the world could offer. Jesus overpowered the devil because he is the Son of God. Dito po sa ating Ibanghelyo, mayroon pong uh, kahilingan ang mga demonyo because they were for sure they were sure that Jesus would drive them at sabi nila if you are going to drive us send us to the sir, to the to the swines herds of uh, swine 
And Jesus did so. At itong mga baboy ay nagsitakbuan at tumalon sila sa dagat at silang lahat ay namatay. Alam niyo po sa kultura ng mga Hudyo, ang mga ang baboy ay itinuturing na madumi. They use it to make fun of other people or to tease other people. Ganon din ang ginagawa natin mga Pilipino. Kapag uh, masyadong mataba ang isang tao, sinasabi natin para kang baboy. Kapag uh, masama ang asal ng isang tao, sabi natin sa kanya, para kang baboy, binababoy mo ang iyong sarili. Binababoy mo ang iyong uh, ginagawa. You are behaving below your dignity. At uh, maalala nyo po sa talinghaga ng alibog hanganak in the prodigal, the parable of the prodigal son. This second son, the younger son, was driven to extreme poverty, spending all his wealth, inherited wealth, on desolate living and on loose women. And so, he became penniless. And uh, the gospel reports that he was sent to the farm to take care of the swines, the pigs. And uh, he was even tempted because of hunger to eat the food that was given to the pigs. Ang mensahe ni po nito ay ang kasalanan ay para kang baboy inahalin tulad ng mga hudyo ang uh, taong makasalanan sa isang baboy ibig sabihin he or she is not living up to the dignity that God has given her or him as the image and likeness of God kaya napakaganda ang talinghaga ng palibughang anak sapagkat uh, when this younger son came to his senses, he said, How many slaves are well fed and cared for in my father's house? I shall go back to him and say, Father, I am no longer worthy to be called your son, but call me as, consider me as one of your slaves. He was still a far way off when the father spotted him. He ran towards him, he embraced him, kissed him, and he said, Quick, get the fatted calf and kill it, slaughter it. Let us celebrate because the son of mine has been lost, but now he is found. He is dead, but now he is alive. Put a finger, put a put a ring on his finger, sandals on his feet, and give him the finest robe. In other words, the father was accepting graciously, without question, unconditionally, his son back. Dito po sa ating Ibanghelyo, pinagaling po ng, isang, ng Panginoong Iso Kristo ang taong nasasapian ng demonyo. Because in Jesus, Jesus wants us to improve, to become better, to become better versions of ourselves. He gives us a second chance to go back to righteousness and goodness. We are all sinners, unclean, like pigs. And yet, our Lord accepts us and gives us a second chance. Kung minsan sinasabi natin, ako'y tao lamang, ako'y natutukso, gumagawa ng masama, nagkakasala, pero dito sa ating Ibanghelyo, pinalalahanan po, ng ating, pinalalahanan po tayo ng ating Panginoon Kristo na sapat ang grasya 
na ipagkakalob sa atin upang makayanan nating labanan ang ating mga uh, temptasyon sa buhay. Binibigyan niya tayo ng sapat na grasya upang makagawa tayo ng kabutihan. You know, surprisingly and ironically, the devil knew Jesus. They said, you are the son of God. They knew this Jesus. They knew that he represented God. They knew that Jesus was for righteousness, goodness, compassion, and love. Pero hanggang doon lamang, meron silang kaalaman, pero kulang sa gawa. Kaya meron tayong kasabihan, the way to hell is paved with good intentions. The Gospel today tells us that we should not only be hearers of the word, hindi lang pakinggan ang salita ng Diyos, dapat isagawa. At kasapi natin, katulong natin, kasama natin si Kristo sa paggawa ng kabutihan. Because He said, Have courage, I have overcome the world. I have overcome evil with good. Alam niyo itong uh, pinagaling ng ating Panginoong Isu Kristo, sinabi niya, I want to come with you. Anong sabi ni Jesus? Go home to your family and make it clear to them how much in His mercy has done for you. We are all recipients of God's mercy and love in spite of who we are. And then the man went off and began to proclaim throughout the ten cities what Jesus had done for him. We are all recipients of God's love, God's forgiveness, and our gratitude is shown by spreading goodness to others. How do we know that Jesus accepts us? We will celebrate the Holy Eucharist. In the time of Jesus Christ, He dined with tax collectors and sinners, public sinners, and the scribes and the Pharisees criticized Him. Why do you dine with public sinners, prostitutes, and tax collectors unworthy of God's love? Jesus answered, People who are well do not need a doctor, but sick people do. I have come not to seek the self-righteous, but sinners. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we join Jesus in this Holy Eucharist, we dine with Him. He tells us, Accept me as I accept you. Receive my love. Receive my grace so that you can be instruments of goodness. You can spread love, care, and concern to others. And, do you, and you yourselves become good news to others.